I was hoping that everybody who comes on the tour might, if, if you want, feel like singing a song that you get a half price, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going, what, we're, what size bar will fit us all, but we'll see. Uh, so the plan is to go to Shandon and onto Jenny's bar, um, where we we'll, we'll just be singing. And uh, as usual, I usually. My, I sing my rosing song. I sang it last night, so I, I should know the words. So um, it's called the the goat that broke loose. So I, I'll have to sing it. And get it out. Get it out of the way. Like. The goat broke loose and ran for All the people of Corsi were afraid. The word went round the county. They blamed her word the county. The goat broke loose and ran for now Mary Ellen Warner, a wood for Bourne's Corner, she she and gone to Dublin or I'll die. But the goat came up behind her, they gave her such a winder, she didn't have the time to bid the friends goodbye. And Mary Ann Fitzgibbon had her dress all torn to ribbons, a running through the Munster Arcade. But she had a sad bereavement when she fell into the pavement on the night the goat broke loose and ran for On the night the goat broke loose and ran for all the people of Car City were afraid. They were tearing down the polka, it was worse than any polka. On the night the goat broke loose and ran for
Six long weeks we ploughed the main from Queenstown Cove and Cork. Then, like an arrow through the air, we landed in New York. The Yankee boys with stars and stripes came flocking down to see this gallant band of Fenian men from Erin's lovely bee. And one of them came up to me and asked me, did I know the green hills of the prairie or the glen of our low? Or could I tell where Crowley fell, his nate to plant the free, or the tower that Captain McGee sacked down Erin's lovely bee? Tis I can tell where Crowley fell, was in Kilcluny Wood, and the tower that Captain Mackey sacked, twas by his side I stood. When he gave the word, we raised a cheer, which made the tyrant frown, and we raised the green flag overhead, the harp without the crown. And then he asked me, did I know where Wolf Tone's body lay? Or could I tell the resting place of Emmet's sacred clay? Or what of Mikey Dwyer, the Wicklow mountain line? Or the three Manchester martyrs, Alan Larkin and O'Brien? Before I left old Erin shore, I passed through sweet Kildare. This grass is green on Bowden's town, Wolf Town is lying there. And going round old Dublin town, I passed last Nevin too. And Robert Emmett is buried there, a patriot loyal and true. But now I'm tired of foreign lands, I think I'll cross the main to feel the grasp of friendship's hand when I return again. When I go home to sweet Claro, the boys will welcome me, and they'll help me float another Fenian boat down there in Slumbi.